was on the wall. She was on the wall. She was on the wall. All right. Everyone else respond. Let's go. Yes, of course. Appearance. Mr. Prosecutor, can't throw off the state. Good morning, Your Honor. I'd like to bless you, Mr. Hassan. Objection, Mr. Hassan. Mr. Hassan, don't have. talk over him. He's your lawyer, okay? You're not representing yourself, nor is a co defendant that's already been addressed by Judge Duration. Next. Kareem McCain still attempting to be pro se. Mr. King, you're not pro se. It's already been addressed by Judge Duration with an order. The appeal was filed. It was dismissed by the appellate division. Okay. Jackie Medina on behalf of Mr. Ms. Curry. Do we have the orders yet back from the uh, the assessments, Mr. DeBliss? Judge, uh, as recently as Friday, I spoke with Ms. Conover, who's the coordinator of Van Klein, and she told me that uh, Dr. Paul, who saw my client twice, right. and uh, with whom I've spoken to three or four times myself, uh, has not uh, finished writing his report. Okay, well, I need the report. What about on this King, Ms. Medina? Uh, well, Your Honor, I believe I already have a copy of the evaluation. Well, I need it. How can I, I, I thought she would send it to all parties. So no, I will, she did I will not. send it to. You don't have it with you? No, Judge, I don't. I'll send it to the court and to the state today. Thank you. I um, need it right away. Your yeah. Honor, I would just like to place on the record that there have been plea negotiations with the state. And um, what defense at this point is attempted to do on behalf of Ms. King is to have the state consent to a PTI application. And so, Your Honor, if that were a PTI with plea, um, that would mean that there would be no felony conviction unless you were to violate the terms of the PTI supervision. At the and end you of know, that, you can't be forced to do a PTI with a plea. No, Your Honor, I understand that. But when it's a second degree and there's no presumption of admission into the PTI program, if this were a plea negotiation, it still can't fashion. be forced on it. Uh, Judge, I understand that. But um, if the alternative is a felony conviction and there's a plea PTI, defense would... Well, if you negotiate it, that's, that, that's what I'm. That's what I'm putting on the record, Judge. Um, that that's a possibility. However, um, Mr. Ralph has not said yes to that um, opportunity yet because he's going to need um, some indicia of rehabilitative services via anger management, parenting classes, psychological um, support, things of that nature. So I need time in order to compile that material and to discuss this with my client in hopes that we can keep her out of what about Mr. Assad's case? I'm not going to have him hanging out. What are we doing? Yeah, I, uh, I, Judge, I think first things first. I need Dr. Paul's report, and I've asked so him many I times. Need to make sure I get a copy of it. Absolutely. As soon as I get it, you'll get it, Judge. I'll fax it to you. And, uh, of course, we, we've talked, uh, Mr. Ralph, and I, of course, he's entitled to a copy of the report also. And I, and I think that, uh, depending upon, uh, you know, what Dr. Paul says and the nature of the discussions, I mean, we need more time. I, I've been in touch with... Uh, a member of the family who uh, I might say has been very cooperative and helpful in, uh, um, at least in my matter, if you will. Uh, I was here in court today and uh, um, so we'll see how that goes. I've spoken to Dr. Paul. He said Mr. Sum is very cooperative and he got it done. I bet that's why I need the report. Though. Okay. Okay, what date do you want? Uh, Medina? You know, I would say. Uh, uh, certainly a January date. I don't want this to, to, uh, to linger too long. A January date, I think, would be fine with me. I mean, Your Honor, I understand the court's not going to be in... Um, the only date I'm here in January is the first date. Otherwise, it gets a February date. Or I could send it to Judge Salemi. Well, um, I prefer, Your Honor, that it remain here. I think we're all familiar with this uh, situation. That's why I'm agreeing for that, Judge, that date. Either January 3rd or the first, the first day that you're back, Your Honor. Well, if you can get it all done by January 3rd, we can get it done then for that. Yeah. If that, or if, if you can't, why don't we do that then January 3rd? Unless you think that that's not going to happen. If you want the extra time, I'll give it to you. I would ask for the extra time. Yes. What date works for you, Mr. Yes. DeBliss, Mr. Ralph, the 14th or the 7th? Uh, Either one's fine with me. Either one, Judge, for me. What about you, Ms. Medina? I'm sorry, Your Honor. 14th uh, or the 7th of, January, whatever of, the February, court of wants. February? Whatever the court wants. February uh, 14th at 9 o'clock. Uh, Mr. Venizzi, I have a question for clarification. What's that? Judge? Do you plan on at any point uh, addressing the omnibus motion to dismiss that you was have to submitted do that for your lawyers. a year ago? I'm you sorry. Have to do that for your lawyers. 
they file the motion with me. You, you have the right to discuss that with them, and then they, they send me the motion, and I can deal with it. No, I, I'm referring to the motions that were submitted prior to these lawyers being forced. They're in the case now. Yeah, you have to go through them, Mr. Son. I don't deal with pro se because you're not pro se. Okay. Now, I would also like if you could clarify as well. How do you define cooperative? You said you spoke to Dr. Paul. And you I just said to me that you cooperated. You gave him answers to his questions. That's it. I don't know what else you There was a non consensual because of religious. I did not see the report. You just said to me you answered questions. That to me means you at least cooperated with the interview. If he says in his report that that's not true, that's fine. I don't have the report. Okay. I object as a misrepresentation of facts on your behalf. What? I would also I ask you again. misrepresent anything. I'm just telling you what he told me. Answer to the question. Don't talk over me. I'm he saying. said you answered questions. Okay, thank and you. And I said to him, are you going to submit a report? And he said, yes. That was the extent of the conversation. Do you understand that? I understand English. Okay, well, that's good, because I wasn't sure you did. Okay? That was Anything very else? rude. Anything yes. Else? I don't really care if you think it's rude. Well, well according you to the... You need to leave in being rude. So the judicial code of me, conduct says that like, you're courteous, that you should really? be courteous. Well, you know what? I make up my own rules sometimes. And sometimes I need to do that because I deal with people like yourself who have no idea what rules are. Okay, got anything else to say? Yes. What is it? At any point, will the plaintiff in this case make an appearance so that I can stand before I don't my know, accuser? This is not a civil case. This is a criminal case. You're well, in a criminal alleged, case... You're referring to the alleged child victim? That's, up that's to the not the claimant. That's up to the prosecutor because the alleged child victim is the person who the prosecutor... Who's following the claim? Against me. See, Mr. Rowe says state of New Jersey. It seems that that's the. the uh Is Mr. Roth, I would ask you to pose this question, representing a political body okay, or a corporation? Question. I'm not asking him anything. You heard the question. So again, the original okay, claimant has not that? been produced. No, don't talk over me. Care to address that? No, Judge. Okay, it's good. Set, and this is over. Motion to file a sponsor. Fact, you know what? I'm changing. Did you give me notice of that? No. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do February 21 instead of 14. February 21, 9 o'clock. That's it. Or does 1.30 work better for you? No, 9 o'clock is better. 9 o'clock, February 21, Mr. Hassan and Mrs. Kim. Final status, complete cutoff. Case doesn't get resolved that day. Goes upstairs to Judge Salevi. She'll give it to somebody to try. Thank you. And you'll never, you'll never uh, review the motions. I just want to get clear. No, no, no. Motions get done by your attorney. I'm not dealing with pro se because you're not representing yourself. Okay. Mr. Objection. Bliss has not given me any motions. Ms. Medina has not given me any motions. Okay? If they do, then on the 21st of February, those motion dates will get assigned and they'll be done prior to the trial. Your Honor, I would just like to place on the record that I have had um, a communication with the state about discovery um, that I still need to get videos um, and so I've, I've already asked the state to provide those and they are going to be uh, furnished in the next Well, they should do that days. well in advance of February, Ms. Medina, well in advance of February 21. Absolutely. Because February 21 is the last time this case can get worked out without a trial. Very well, Your Honor. It should be also noted for the record you that I'm... 
also uh, requesting to reserve on all motions until the thorough discovery review with my client is had. Good. Thank you, Judge. Whatever you want to do. I don't have any motions. I don't deal with pro se because we don't have pro se. Got Mr. DeBlitz, got Ms. Medina. Who does deal with pro se, Mr. Valencia? If you're a pro se, I deal with you. But you're not. You just said you don't deal with pro se. Excuse me? You just said you don't deal with pro se. I'm trying to get some clarification. The competency evaluation that was taken was for what purpose? It was for the purpose of us to go pro se. No, it was not. I don't know who told you that. Would you get that, Mr. Fine? That's under the law. That's not the case. It was done if you listened to what I said, which probably didn't, to ensure that both of you understood what you're being charged with. Because based on the submissions, I found your conduct, both of you, to be bizarre and perhaps indicative to me that neither one of you understood what you're being charged with or vis-a-vis -vis that you were competent to stay in trial. It had nothing to do with representing yourself. That previously was addressed by Judge DeRajan and he denied your application. So for further clarification, the, the uh, Excuse me, could you could I'm you talking, stop that? I'm I can't hear you. though. You have to stop. You're being disrupted. Really? No, so again, being excuse me. What do you want to tell me? She keeps doing this purposely. So I, 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 I would say I'm trying to hear you at the well, same what do you time. Want to tell? Tell I have one year here. I got it. According to that order, uh, the psychological examination right. was ordered by you, as suggested by Mr. Devilish, uh, Mr. Devilish, um, to see if we were competent to stand trial. Is that, is that, is that, is that correct? That's what the order said. The order that you wrote up and signed. It, it was, was, it was to determine if we were competent. by counsel to determine whether you and Ms. King understood the charges as to whether or not you were competent to stand trial. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, understanding charges and determining competency to stand trial are two different things. Really? So, was it to cover both of them? You should talk to, you should talk to your lawyer about that because they go hand in hand. If one does not understand okay. the function of his lawyer, if one does not understand the charges against one, then one may be decided to be not competent to stand trial because they wouldn't know what indeed they're facing, which very frankly from the submissions you submitted and Ms. King, that was my opinion. At I'll what see point, what the doctors said. Well, at what point will you substantiate? Uh, you keep calling the paperwork bizarre. Yeah. At what point will you substantiate that claim. I don't need to substantiate anything. The doctor does. Your Honor, if I may I don't need to substantiate anything, okay? No. Okay. If they decide that you and Ms. King are competent to stand trial, then we move forward. If they decide you're not, we move forward in a different So a medical doctor determines that, not, not a legal entity. These are psychiatrists. They're medical doctors, but not an entity. No, no, no. Your Honor, if I may, this is, wow. I need to just place a couple of things on the record, because chances are this is going to, the, the record is going to be reviewed at one point. So I am going to oh, place this on so. the record. My understanding is that Judge Jerezian attempted to conduct a reddish Prasoff. Yeah, I'm not hearing. dealing with well, that. Well, I'm cutting you I, off. No. Your he, Honor, he issued an order indicating that because of the fact that they didn't cooperate, they would not represent yeah. themselves. And then they took an appeal of that order to the Appellate Division. The Appellate Division dismissed it it's not my because it was not completed. That's it. I'm not readdressing it. They are not representing the themselves. Understand. And I'm not having a second register. The I just duration already made a rule. Your Honor, I would just like to place on the record. For the, excuse, I need everyone just to please let me talk for a second. There was a Krasafi Reddish hearing that the defendants were not cooperative in. That's my understanding. As a result of that, there was an indication that there should be a competency evaluation. The competency evaluations were had, obviously not for the sole purpose of being rep for them representing themselves for pro se motion, but also for making sure that they have their constitutional right to participate meaningfully right. in their case. That's Where we are, well, it's let, not. Let me, let, just, let, me just, let me just say something. We short circuit. My competency order has nothing to do with anything Judge Duration did. Okay? My competency order came from my order, not from his. Okay? It's my order, based on my determination and my assessment of your client and Mr. Sun. Okay? Nothing to do with him down the hall. Okay? He made a decision based on their application to represent themselves. I made a decision based on their submissions and their deportment and their just basic, perhaps, misunderstanding of what the charge is about that they need to be competently examined to determine whether they can stand trial. 
That was my order, my finding, my decision, my signature. It has nothing to do with Judge Durant. And now, Your Honor, that the competency evaluation, at least as to Ms. King, has come back, that there is no issue of competency. I haven't seen you. When that, does, when that is read by the court, if Ms. King decides that she wishes to refile a motion for pro se. It will not be entertained by this court. Then I would ask for, if, if she files pro se, a motion to go pro se. I would ask that the court then sign an order because most certainly Ms. King would take that to the appellate. You can do whatever you wish to do. It's already been addressed and decided upon by Judge Derasion and was not related to their competency. It was related to their not cooperating with him, which is totally different. Exactly. But I would, I would submit to the court that there may be a change in circumstance that there at isn't. this point would validate. I can the rule right now there isn't. And if you want to, I'll sign an order right now telling you that I'm not going to allow anybody to represent themselves. The competency evaluation had nothing to do with that. I would appreciate that, yeah, Mr. Okay. Venezia, if, if I could yeah. receive that. Well, you'll have to submit it to me through counsel. Well, the order you said you were going to sign right now. Right. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm referring to. They have to submit one to me, and then I will sign it. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. Well, that's how it goes. Does, we don't make special arrangements for you, Mr. Son. That's how it goes. I don't, I'm not asking for any. I'm okay. just asking when they for you to the rule of law. If they, dismiss, if they decide to submit me an order on your behalf by Mr. DeBliss, on uh, Ms. King's behalf by your lawyer, by her lawyer, Ms. Medina, then I'm going to sign it because that's already been addressed by Judge Duration. So if something, if something is brought to your attention that may have been done by another judge, which may... Uh, uh, imply some sort of illicit behavior or order. Do you have any uh, legal obligation to override what he No, does? no, I didn't ask you that. Can I finish, please? Do you have any legal obligation to address it, to review it? No. If it's already been decided upon, I do not. It's what's called the law of the case. He makes a decision. Only the appellate division can change it. Okay, that, that's not what's written in your judicial codes of conduct. Really, that's fine. Yeah. Guess what? You know what? I disagree with you. That's enough, fine. I, enough of the legal lesson. You don't have to agree with me, you only with your oath of office, which you keep really? violating for some no, reason. No, that's, that's your opinion also, Mr. Uh, Assam. Assam. Okay. Mr. Assam. Okay. All right, Mr. Vinicius. Twenty first. No, You've been very helpful today. today. If you and say you me so once more, I will hold you in contempt and fine you five hundred dollars. Which, if you don't pay, you'll be back from where you came from, across the street in the Bergen County Jail. Understand that? Because I don't like your disrespect at all. Out. The twenty first of February at nine o'clock. Mr. Ralph, anything to add? No, Judge. I believe everything regarding that. Judge Duration matters on the record before that. Before that. It certainly is. All right. Do with that. I like doing it, to be honest with you. I don't know how much arrogant it is. People can lose sight of that. This has to do with a little baby who's left in the garage, which they decided to not feed or clothe or do anything. Pretty good. Next. Uh